Welcome everyone to JWolf Tech Broadcast. Today what I have is an unboxing of uh, MSI Z77A-G41 motherboard. This is more of their budget oriented line motherboards. It's, uh, I picked it up for $65. It's going to be a part of my uh, budget build and uh, actually just a build guide on uh, each, each uh, individual component that you might put into your uh, computer system. Uh, but what I want to do is I actually want to get an unboxing here uh, just while I have the product. Just so we can show you some of the features that we got here. This is, uh, like I said, a budget-oriented system. It's about $65 uh, with a mail-in rebate. That's exactly what I paid for it. Uh, it has the military class components, which are top quality and stability. Uh, it's Gen 3, PCI uh, Express Gen 3 slot. Uh, Windows 8 compatible, which you can tell I just put on there. Uh, OC Genie 2, Click BIOS, which I, I, I love. Uh, 22 nanometer. Uh, CPU ready and then just uh, goes over some general other specs there probably crossfire and SLI ready no problem well it says crossfire but should be able to run SLI and uh, we got SFC uh, super ferret chokes uh, solid capacitors basically that's what the military grade is you just get a little bit better components there so it could be a shot of some of the features there on the back but let's actually jump in and actually get to, uh, get into the motherboard uh, I have a, a few budget-oriented motherboards from MSI, and I was really happy with them. Okay, so some of the actual components here. We have the uh, I.O. shield. This is a standard uh, general I.O. shield. It does have the color coatings, which is nice. And then you just have your uh, quick installation guide. And you have your drivers and utilities CD, which you should not use. Go to the website, download the latest from there. And then what looks like a pretty thick manual, a uh, user's manual, looks to be pretty nice. Um, oh, it's in a bunch of languages, so it's not really that thick. Okay, yeah, it's in, it's in about four languages, but uh, we do have an English uh, section there. And then it looks like you get, uh, oh, this is some, this is cool. This looks like something that they uh, somewhat got from, uh, Ace. I think I believe Asus is the one that started this. You have these little connectors for your uh, front panel connectors, and you just connect them into this, and then connect them to the motherboard. It makes it much easier to to connect those. And then it looks like we got two uh, SATA connect SATA uh, connectors there for your drives, and then uh, just some stickers. Yep, see here's for the front panel connectors. Just uh, goes through a little chart there. It's when you first do that, it can be a little bit difficult, but once you get used to it, uh, it's no problem. So now let's get into the motherboard. I'm curious to see. This is a standard ATX motherboard. I'm curious to see what what it, what it looks like, especially for the the price point. Sixty five dollars is pretty cheap for a motherboard, especially for a Z seventy seven chipset motherboard. That's the newer generation. And it has a lot of new features on it. All right, all right. The first thing you're gonna notice is that this is a blue theme, kind of a blue and uh, well, blue, blue and black. A little bit of brown, but it more it looks more black than anything. We do have the LGA 1155 socket, as you can see uh, right there in the front. And we have four DIMM slots. Uh, you have your power connector here and here in the, uh, about the ideal locations for them. And then you got your uh, USB 3.0 uh, connector there. And then you got the one, two, three, four... Looks like four system system fan headers, which is nice uh, if you need to plug in any fans. Uh, PCI 3.0 slot right there, and then right here you have your Intel chipset, and then you have your uh, I believe this is PCI uh, 2.0, and then just general regular standard uh, PCI slot. So it is Crossfire SLI ready, but that's just a general overlook of the front of the board. Let's jump into the side uh, so we can see what type of ports we got. Uh, standard uh, plug-in mouse and uh, keyboard, USB 2.0, two there, two USB 3.0, uh, HDMI, VGA, which is still always nice. I don't use this a whole lot, but it, it does come in handy. Let's get a little closer here so you can see this. Uh, two more USB 2.0, uh, get rid of Ethernet, and then just uh, your uh, audio connectors there. Uh, that's basically it for the look of the motherboard. It looks like a pretty plain Jane motherboard. That's uh, what you get for that uh, price point. Just, uh, I I'm liking the features that it has on it so far. I mean, it'll, it should be, uh, be able to run anything that I can uh, throw at it, no problem. Uh, so uh, this has been my unboxing of the MSI Z77AG41 motherboard. If you'd like to see any more unboxings, reviews, any other tech news, live broadcasts, or any other build guides, don't forget to subscribe. 
And stay tuned for uh, my actual uh, how to install a motherboard in your case. Uh, I'm going to do that right now.